Hey everybody, what's up? This is Queen coming with a book review. I just got done reading this book like, what, two weeks ago? And yeah, so I, I found this book. I was going through a black author or something like that um, catalog and I wrote down all the books that they had. They were like suggestions, black teens should read, black youth, adult, young adults should we read. So, this little book came up. It's called Invisible Life, a novel. And, oops, oh, I hate when it doesn't, like, let you. So, this book is basically about, it's black men and their bounds, their bounds with homosexuality. So, I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about the book. <laughs> So the guy, he goes to college and, you know, he, you know, meets another guy and then so and so happens. I'm not going to give you everything, but it's basically talking about how the, the the main guy in this book, how it's hard for him to be his self because, one, he doesn't really fully accept who he is and he's afraid of what the world, what his, the people at his job, his parents might perceive him as. And he has a little brother, so he doesn't want to make that. And this is like, I think this is during the late, the early 90s or late 80s or something like that. I think it's early 90s. But this is based in the 90s. And so it's talking about, it's during that era where, you know, AIDS was very rapid in the um, gay community. And it also talks about that. And he talks about suicide and how, you know, it, it's very deep because it actually is very realistic because... You know, you're fighting to you fighting to be this person that you really want to be, yet you're hiding this person that you really want to be, and that's mentally gonna mess you up. So you know, it almost leads him to suicide. It talks about that. It talks about him hiding his life and um, the other people that's in his life. They describe it, it's many different characters in this book. Trust me, but it's very recommended because this is something that people go through, and I feel like it's you know, re it's very readable. It, it su This book sucks you in. Like, it sucks you in. Like, you'll read this book within a day or two. Like, it's so good. You're going to be like, <sighs> like, as soon as you open a book, the first page, second go it goes straight into it. It's not no boring first chapter. I hate books like that. I'm trying to read this book now that has a boring first chapter and it ain't working. And I don't want to name say the book because people will get offended because it's a very popular book <laughs> in the black community. But, well, just in for literature in general, it's a very popular book. And But I'm very recommended. Very. It's really good. And it involves a girl, you know, it's basically talking about DL men and stuff like that, too. It goes into depth, and it has another book, and I was so happy to hear this because I got to get it. After reading this, you're going to want to read it. Like, you ever read a book, and it sucks you in, and then when it's done, you get depressed, you'll be like, oh, my gosh, what is life? Because the book be so good. Like, you're so consumed in this. You don't care nothing about reading the next page, and you will just flip, flip, flip without thinking about it. But, yeah, like I said, this is a very highly recommended book. It's called The Invisible Life by E. Lynn Harris, a novel. And here's the a quote on the back. It says, one of the most thought-provoking books written about male sexuality, particularly black male sexuality, since James Baldwin's Another Country. I gotta get that book. But yeah, a bold, riveting look into the minds of bisexual black men. Black Americans have been given a rare opportunity with this book to broaden their understanding on lifestyles like and unlike their own. Mr. Harris has stimulated a dialogue within the African com American community desperately needed for so long about the complicated issues of sexuality, powerful and vividly told. The story is compelling and leaves the reader wanting more. Look, you're going to want more after this book. I wish they had, like, a page where I can give you a little bit of something. But if this is, it's just a good book in general. But like I said, it's called Invisible Life by Elin here. Check it out if you want to. Very recommended book. But, dang, I hate that it's not. Ugh. But like I said. All right, follow me on my 
support page. That's where everything is. Queen, Facebook.com slash Queen Left. That's where everything is. Music, links, blog links, poetry, art, dance. All that stuff and all the links are on that page. You know, and if you want to talk, get to know, you know, I don't... <laughs> Whatever, if you have questions, that's fine also. You know, don't be shy, but don't be creepy, and don't be, you know, too much. But anyway, if you want to know more about this book, you can just hit me up, because I don't know if they have, like, descriptions online or uh, other reviews that actually explains the stuff in this book. But if you want to know more, just write a comment or message me. But there you go, Invisible Life. Check it out. It's a great book.